Hello, Mumbo, what's up? Yeah, I'm not going to talk to you yet. I'm going to raid your house of everything that's inside of it, because I know in inside here is actually one of the... Yep, one of the, the other extra honeycomb pieces in here. First of all, let's get these red feathers, because we're definitely not going to be using red feathers in this level. How funny is that? Yeah. Well, whatever, let's get this. There we go. And that's both um, extra honeycomb pieces in this level. Alright, so your transformation here costs 10 mumbo tokens, but that's no issue to us now, is it? And he will transform us to a tiny crocodile. Wait, mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. Wow, mumbo, just wow. That is a cruel, sick joke, if I had never saw one. That is definitely it. And as the crocodile, unlike the termite, we actually can attack enemies, thankfully, so we're not completely helpless here. And another thing that's really cool about this crocodile is that he can go into the swamp. So yeah, there we go. But that's not really what's important. What's important is that now we can go inside this out this crocodile and play this pain in the ass mini game, which I'm not looking forward to doing. But guess what, folks? We gotta do it. I mean, it's not that bad, but you're gonna be playing like three separate versions of it. And, hey, mumbo token. But let's just let's just get this over with because not everyone, no one looks forward to doing this. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yum yumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Now, this may sound simple, but the fact is you're actually going to be playing um, multiple variations. You're going to be playing three different variations of this game, but this is the first one. But yes, it's, it, it's simple. You just need to eat more of these red things than him. But he's going to eat a lot faster than you, so you need to be... You just need to be lucky and hope that they, you know, they appear right next to you. But this minigame can give you a lot of trouble. I can almost I can almost guarantee you that. In fact, it's probably going to give me a lot of trouble because I'm doing a Let's Play while trying to do this. So, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. I can almost assure you that. Just assure you that. Now, there are... I should probably mention this. There are these walking shoes in the background, as you can see over there. Those are not going to be useful to us until World 6. Like, we literally do not get the move, move that's associated with those shoes until World 6. And those are basically a pair of Nike speedsters that we cannot use. But, oh, frick. Okay, okay, we still won. Almost lost there, that was very close. Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Three, two, one, go. See, it just keeps going on and on. Now he just gives you all these variations. Now we gotta avoid the yellow ones. Okay. It's fine. So yes, the yellow ones are not ripe yet, but trust me, there's still one more variation of this game that you're gonna have to... Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have any of these. The best, the, okay, so let me just say that the best strategy for playing this minigame is to simply go where he goes and eat all the ones that he's about to eat, and he's beating me up. What am I doing here? Space and time here. Okay, there we go. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to focus here, so. Ah! Nope, nope, you cannot eat these grumblies. Frick frack, they made a freaking line right next to him. What was that? What was that, man? What was that? What was that? Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, 21. We're good. We're good. We're good until he eats that one. No. no. Oh, okay. We still won. We still won barely by one point again. Bah, lucky greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it's gonna switch every 10 seconds between the reds and the greens. I mean, reds and yellows, sorry. So you need to eat only what's on the top, so it's about to switch to yellows. And um, basically what happens if you eat the wrong colors, then it's going to... It'll basically stun you for a few seconds, and you won't be able to eat any of them. So that's basically how it works, and now let's switch to red. It can be pretty ridiculous sometimes, because it will actually switch, like, um, when you're in the middle of eating one of them. Which can be very bad. I can almost assure you that. No one's right there. Oh. Okay, we are definitely losing. Definitely losing. This is not good. This is not good. Okay.
Ah, oh, dang it, we lost. Ugh. Mighty Mr. Vile wins. Now Greeny gets chewed. Yep, for every time you lose this minigame, you have to you get you take a bite. Which freaking sucks. And then you have to play it again. Alright, here it goes. Let's try this again. Wanna try again, Greeny? Press A to play or B to run. Let's try last game again. Only eat what is shown on top of screen. Alright, so I'm just gonna talk cut to my successful attempt. If I get if I get this well, here's what I'm gonna do. If I don't get it on this attempt, then I'm just gonna cut to when I actually get it. Because you guys should not have to sit through a montage and meet no games. I mean, well actually it will be a montage, but it's better montage and you're gonna watch and do a full game over the end. Frick Ah dang it! It had to switch right when I was uh, I hate when it does that. Like it switches like right when you're in the middle of eating one of them, but I know how it works. It just it, it goes by ten seconds, so no, but it's just scary. It's making me so scary. It's like I'm already losing it, as you can see. But yeah, your best bet is just to go for the uh, ones that he is going for, and that'll save you in the long run. Alright, so. Just gotta eat everyone that he's after. Okay. No, it doesn't count if you're tied. Frick. Mighty Mr. Bo you didn't win, we were tied. Dude, seriously. Yeah, he's gonna ch <sighs> Wanna try- <laughs> Sure, fine. I'm not gonna do this if I get- if I only have one attempt- <sighs> What? Why did you make one appear next to him? Why, game? Why? That is just- that's evil. So much. They make all of them appear next to him, that's- the, that's what really sucks, you know? I am not a big fan of this minigame, as you guys can see. I really, really despise it. It gives me a lot of trouble, that's for sure. Frickin' A, where are all of them? Oh, great, they all appear next to him. Nice. That's very nice. Okay. Alright, alright. We're still not on par with- Oh my god, seriously, game! Yeah, I hate this minigame. I really hate it a lot. Like seriously, they just make him make them appear right next to him. That's ridiculous. And that is just so ridiculous. Again, we're tied. Oh my god. Okay, I am not doing this again. I need to replenish my health. Okay, so. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um, you're there. I need to get all the notes, and I only have 86. So, um, I don't know what to do. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. Um, over here, there is. Oh, there's a risk though because there's actually some enemies over here. So, I might die in the process here, but. Just bear with me, guys. Um, we're just gonna get this Jinjo right here. It should get us... Yep, it will. Okay, so this is the last Jiggy. No, not the last Jiggy, no. Last one is with that Mr. Vile guy, which I really hate right now, because I'm definitely not a big fan of him. So, get these Mumbo tokens. Uh, gold feathers right here, but you can't use them, can you? Nope, you can't use the gold feathers in your special mood. That's nice. That's very nice. I get the feeling that that bug's gonna screw me over and kill me. Okay. Alright, we're fine. Get these nodes right here. Alright, we're at 95 nodes. Where are the last five? If I just get those last five nodes, I'll be fine if I lose. It's fine. You guys might see me die for the first time, but at least it won't be in vain. Me losing all those nodes. Because I'm telling you, I, can't, I, I don't want to lose all the nodes and have to redo this level again. I definitely do not. Where could those last notes be, anyways? Wait a second, I just remember where they are. They're behind this crocodile, aren't they? I remember mentioning these earlier, saying, hey, I could just come back here with my ultimate form, and you know what? Actually, yeah. They are definitely over there. Alright, well. I guess that solves that issue. Yeah, because they're behind this. Yep, yeah, there they are. Yep. 
That's the last five notes, y'all. So you might see me die here, because I literally have no other way to get um, HP, but... You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just a bottle boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously, I, I, I think I took all the... Unknow unknowingly took every single one of the honeycomb pieces. Um, as I was... When I didn't even need them, and now I, now that I need them, I'm not in my disposal. But let's see, make sure I got everything in this world first. Okay, so I have all 100 notes, 9 out of 10 jiggies, and 2... Yeah, 2 of those uh, extra honeycomb pieces. So, if I die here, we'll be fine. I just have to come back to this world and... Um, uh, well, actually, it might even just put me back in the world, but still, um, yeah, I might have to... I might have to just come back here and do this again, so... Whatever. You guys are probably about to see me die, and if so, um... You'll see that, but other than that, I'd rather just cut to my successful attempt at this, so let's try. Oh! That's nice. What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough. Ugh. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100, and I stupidly left the world. Do not jump when you're on the pad, okay? Just letting you guys know. But... Okay, let's go try that again. Yes! Finally! Finally got that. Mr. Vile never lost a four. Greenie can have prize. Yeah, screw you. Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge. If Greenie not scared, he must win next three games to win three extra lives. But time Greenie loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B to chicken to slide off like a slug. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't know about you, but. I think being a slug is much more fun here. So there we go, guys. That's all ten jiggies in Bubble Gloop Swamp. And man, was that a pain. I mean, let me tell you, I usually don't have that much trouble with this Mr. Vile game, but seriously, now that was just terrible. That was probably my worst run of that minigame ever. And it took me probably at least like five or so attempts, so that's ridiculous. So ridiculous, man. But whatever, we got it. We're done. We're done with this world. Ready to move on to world 5. Freezy Peak. And actually, there's something we still need to do in this form while we are in crocodile form. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to that area where the Freezy Peak puzzle was. And there's something that we can do there in our form. What we can do is we can, well, once we get in there, first of all... Because as you recall, may recall, we came in here originally as Banjo-Kazooie before entering Bubble Gloop Swamp to break open a ball of ice that was blocking this pathway here. Well, if you go in here with your form, we will discover something new we have not discovered yet. And there's actually going to be three of these in the game, but here's the first one. It's Cheeto, the book. The spell book, more like. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain. What did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book, finders, bear, and bird are? Spell they get. You sure do, bag lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Where did bag lady come from? Seriously, Kazooie. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code blue eggs on sandcastle floor in treasure trove cove world. Help you will. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto. Hidden in lair, other spell books are. Them you should find. What's with all the characters speaking like that? I, just, I, I don't care. It's not it's something they do. It's whatever they... It's, it's weird. There's a lot of characters in this game that actually speak in third person, which can be kind of funny, actually, to be honest. It's pretty hilarious, but... Not always, but whatever. You know, 
I guess it's about as funny as, you know, uh, you know, Gruntilda making everything she says rhymes. I guess that those, those things are just about as funny, but oh well. Anyways, I've been recording for an hour, and that was probably my longest, again, that was probably my longest run of Bubble Goof Swamp, and let, you know, alright, let's use this, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's refill our lives before we leave this area and get transformed back into Banjo Kazooie by you know, Mumbo because he uses T-Mobile magic. I'm sorry, that's just a, that's an overused joke about you know, Mumbo's spells. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Magic get weak. Yes, yes, we know. Run out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, go ahead. Let's just let it let the T-Mobile magic run out. There we go. Service ain't that good. No, I'm just kidding. Again, I shouldn't be saying that unless I've actually used it before and know what it's like, but still, I, I'd never had any problems with Verizon, so... I don't know why Verizon always ends up being the joke there, but whatever. Um... I, but, but I guess it's just my, from my personal experience with it. Personally, when I've experienced it works perfectly. Um, so anyways, we are going to end off this episode, guys. Um... I will see you guys next time. Well, I, I guess I should show you, like, where Freeze Easy Peak is. So we'll do that first, and then we'll end off this episode, because it has been a pretty long recording session I've done here just to get through Bubble Goose Swamp, and it's ridiculous. So we're going to open up this note door here, and Banjo's going to do his victory dance again. This unnecessary victory dance for doing for opening a door, because I really need a victory dance after all. So this will take us up to the area that allows us to access World 5 and 6. Actually, World 6 can be accessed straight from here. Um, so much we can do here, but I will show you guys where Freeze Easy Peak is, which is up here. Um, be, but back that, just know that back that way is where World 6 is, so we'll be able to access it from there. Now these baddies are different than the ones that, that, are, that were below us that were red. These ones take two hits, normally, from like Bear's, you know, Banjo Simple Punch or Roll. Um, normally, those guys just take two hits, but if you use, again, if you use, uh, Kazooie's can't you let you, can't you get any faster? Come and fight me. I'm the master. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, but again, uh, yeah, this is where Freezy's Peak is. And we'll be going there in the next episode, y'all. So thanks for watching this episode. Let's play Planet Joe Kazooie again. I'm sorry for all that, all that annoying, irritating, uh, Mr. Vile montage that put you guys through, which probably wasn't that much, but still. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.